following video gives a brief overview of iMovie and the basic steps. So first of all, you want to click the plus to start a project. Ignore the skeleton. Um, you want to select the movie option, and then it takes you to your clips, which you'll have to pre-record. Select the ones you want, and then click create movie. And it starts you off with a basic movie, clicks in some transitions and so forth. First thing you want to do is arrange and trim the clips. Um, so here you can see I click on it, it turns yellow, and then I can drag it to make it smaller. Um, then if I want to uh, rearrange clips, what I need to do is click on it and drag it up so that it goes up and over to whatever spot I want to drag it. So one more time in slow motion, drag it up, drop it in the split area, and then you can rearrange your clips this way. Next up is adjusting speed. Um, when you click on it, you'll see that there's a clock and obviously the turtle is slower, the tortoise is faster. It gives you a preview of the, the length of the clip. Next up is adding text. So in the menu system, you click on the T for text, pick the option you want, type in the text that you want. Um, and if you want to delete it, you just click the delete key. You can click the cross, uh, the X to get rid of it all together if you wish to do this, and then it just plays over the top of your video. Uh, next up, adding transitions. Now it puts a default transition between them when you make the movie, but if you click on the transition, you can change the direction, the type, and so forth, um, and preview it. Next up is detaching audio. This is a bit more of an advanced tip. Click the uh, clip and the audio symbol and click detach and that will take the audio and put it below your clip. From there, you can delete it or you can adjust the level, whatever you want to do. Next up is adding video effects and sounds. So when you click on a, the three circles in the bottom right corner, it gives you access to different color profiles that can mimic uh, color grading in movies and help your movie stand out. And uh, from there, if you click the, from there, if you click the plus symbol, you can access um, so other sound effects in your audio, you can access the uh, voiceover function. And the voiceover function, you just start talking once you start recording. And when you're done, you can hit cancel. And it automatically allows you to create a voiceover to your movie to narrate it. Um, you may have some safe still photos. Sound effects are also found there. Lots of built-in sound effects, making it easy to add sound effects. Uh, just click the plus symbol to add it and it drops it right below your um, your movie. Now important, exporting and saving. Always, um, the up arrow is always basically uh, sharing it and the down arrow is always saving. So you're gonna export it and save it to your movies. Pick a size, I'm doing 720 here. Uh, if it's too large, drop to a smaller size. The movie will be found in your uh, photo library and from there you can upload it to Teams and hand in your project. Good luck.